Hi, thanks for tuning in. We thought we'd take this opportunity to give you some information, insight as to some of the services that we as Element within the connected technology bit of Element offer to, to you as customers. Um, one of the areas that we're particularly active in um, and have a, a significant reputation, good reputation, is the cellular testing uh, and industry that we support. We predominantly do that out of the US at the moment, um, but some of the things that we get really heavily involved in, um, you may have heard us talk about protocol testing previously, which is a significant part of making sure that a mobile phone can operate in the cellular ecosystem and, and hence communicate with a base station. Some of the other testing that we do is the normal regulatory testing, like making sure that it's emitted noise is such that it doesn't interfere with other things, um, that the RF exposure, certainly when you're holding a phone to your ear or you may have a bit of wearable technology, making sure that it doesn't uh, exceed the RF exposure limits, as well as some more practical tests. Um, and what I mean by that is things like OTA, over the air we call it, which is a real world test to make sure that if you're, for example, having a phone call and you're holding a phone to your ear and you turn through 90, 180 degrees, that it suddenly doesn't drop the call, for example. And that's really part of um, manufacturer testing as well as industry testing, so for things like GCF, PTCRB, as well as carrier acceptance testing, uh, depending upon where you are in the world, uh, to make sure that these things are assessed. So we, as end users, can have confidence that it's going to work properly, uh, it's going to be used in, in multiple environments, um, and really matches up to our expectations as users. Some of the testing that we get really quite involved in, especially these days, it is quite nuanced in terms of uh, the technology and what it's being used for. So things like emergency services, for example, uh, is an area that uh, is increasingly uh, come under scrutiny and focus in terms of regulations. Michael, did you want to give us a quick update on the sorts of things that we're doing from an emergency services point of view in the cellular space? Yeah, so, uh, you know, there's not, if you think cellular, mobile phone, you just think about using your phone. Um, historically, of course, you would use a phone to make a phone call. Um, and uh, since, uh, since earlier last year, in fact, there's been a requirement that if you've got a mobile phone or a cell phone, and if you want to make an emergency phone call to the emergency services, that phone must be able to identify its location and send that location to the emergency services in a way that the services can recognize and identify. And in fact, there's a, another type of that called e-calling. If you have a, um, a cellular device in a vehicle and the vehicle gets into an accident, that it's able to send that information to the emergency services. So there's a lot around uh, cellular testing that isn't necessarily just about, is my cellular signal going to cause some interference? We easily think of EMC and radio and safety, but there are these other things around. So historically, a phone would be used for making a call, but nowadays a phone is also primarily, in fact, used for connecting to the internet. Pretty much any cellular device, whether it's a smartphone or a radio module for the internet of things, is gonna to connect to the internet. So the phone is gonna to have to make that emergency calling requirement, and it's gonna to have to meet those OTA requirements that Steve mentioned, so that you still have your good signal when you pick your phone up, but going ahead in the next couple of years, all of these devices will connect to the internet as they already do. And then of course, cyber security becomes a big uh, part of that requirement. And, and if somebody says, can you do cellular testing? We go, yes, of course we can, but it's, it's kind of assumed by the manufacturer that that covers everything inside the smartphone. And they all of course have Wi-Fi and GPS and other types of technology involved. So there's a lot more to it. And then of course the RF exposure assessment. Uh, yeah, and, and thank you, Michael. And, and, and it even goes further than that. You, you touched on safety, so making sure that the, the product itself is inherently safe. Um, and, and batteries are a really big thing these days. Obviously, untethering product from uh, cables uh, relies on a good energy source. And so you know, some of the battery testing that we get really quite involved in is making sure that the battery is safe, um, safe under 
foreseen but also unforeseen circumstances. Um, for example, dropping the phone onto a spike. So you're actually um, uh, uh, um, uh, breaking the seal on a battery and making sure that it, it doesn't explode at that point. But then again, practical side, making sure that the longevity of the, the battery is such that you don't have a, a, a flat battery in your phone by lunchtime. So, so making sure that the battery is fit for purpose in terms of we uh, uh, as us, uh, as users, uh, making sure that it's going to be fit for purpose. So if this is an area that uh, interests you, uh, we've got plenty of information on our website, um, uh, so please feel, feel free to visit element.com, uh, have a look, um, and yeah, you'll see uh, the, the whole range of different services that we provide to support the cellular industry. Thanks again.